Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the last of the season Philadelphia Flyers weekend recap with a short preview to tonight's game, which is the last of the season against those New Jersey Devils at home where the Flyers will give out their team awards and we'll see who gets what. Check out Jamie Baskell's Twitter of Flyers Itty Gritty. Follow Flyers Itty Gritty as well as Sports Fanatic News here. We appreciate your support where he tweeted out who he thinks and predicted who he thinks will win. Excuse me. Now, let's get into the game. The Flyers had a very nice win, led on the back of two goals by the youngster who's been great since he stepped into the lineup, Wade Allison. Wade was the star of this game, able to pot uh, two goals in the 4-2 to two victory. And then amongst him, you had Sean Couturier score, as well as Joel Farabee, two of the guys that have been some of the more consistent guys, even when not getting on the score sheet, just not doing any kind of asinine things on the ice that you get mad at them from watching, so nice to see those guys continue to round out the season and end well, Hayes, who's had a struggle bunny season, had an assist on Farabee's goal, as well, and then JVR, who's been good this year as well, had a 25, his 25th assist, along with Moose Elliott, who had an assist on the Couturier empty netter, but I would definitely say Moose played a pretty good game, so he would be a star of this game, and then of course Wade Allison with the two goals will be the other star of this game, and then we'll just throw Coots in there for staying consistent just to keep it at three stars, but this was a good game for the Flyers, played a very good game, Wade Allison, the rookie, really stepped up, great to see that, they were able to get the win 4-2, to two. unfortunately the next night it wasn't <clears throat> As fortunate for the Flyers, through most of this game, they were up one to nothing, which was really because of Alex Lyon. He deserved a better fate. Jamie wrote that article on Nitty Gritty for people that didn't check it out. If you want to go check that out, but uh, he did. He deserved a much better fate. And then, unfortunately, at the six on five at the end of the game, uh, Lars Eller was left open in front of the net and was able to get one in on an assist by Mantha, and then Schultz for the secondary. And then in overtime, uh, the Flyers were not able to match Connor Cheery, and Connor Cheery was able to get a goal assisted by Nick Dowd and Dmitry Orloff to win it there with Lord Scott Lawton, who would be one of the stars of the game for this game. I thought other than just scoring, he looked pretty good on the ice. And then so did Reamer again, who looked pretty solid on the ice, got an assist. They were both good, but Lawton for getting a goal would be one of the stars of the game in a losing effort. The only reason the Flyers didn't lose this game, as far as I'm concerned, in regulation with some of the chances they allowed was because of Lyon, and then unfortunately Lars Eller was left open at the end of the game, and he was able to tie it, and then in overtime the Flyers were not able to mark Connor Sheary, and that gave them a win, so I would give Lyon the second star, Lawton the third star, and then I think you just have to give the first star, Connor Sheary won the game, but just with the amount of time left on the clock, there was really not much time left, that was able to get open in front with barely fraction of, I don't even remember if there was a full... <clears throat> That was at 19.20 in the third, so yeah, there wasn't a full minute left, so that was just a very unfortunate thing there, Lyon deserved better in that game, but uh, the Flyers, at least they got a point out of it, they took t uh, three out of four possible points from Washington, that's a nice successful weekend to be able to kind of destroy um, where they're kind of marked in the standings a little bit, since they're still two points behind the Penguins for first place, so for people that like playing spoilers, they could have still potentially have done that, but that will be the wrap-up for the weekend. We had our stars of the weekend, of course, being Wade Allison with the two goals, and then, of course, you had Alex Lyon and both Moose Elliott step up, but unfortunately, Alex Lyon just was not able to get the win. Tonight, uh, AV already committed to Brian Moose Elliott. Moose ending the season in net. Um, I was actually a little surprised. I thought since he got caught up on the taxi squad, Felix Sandstrom would get a chance. He's looked very good. He's been blazing hot now since actually getting in a routine and being able to play a good amount of games in succession rather than games so much time off, games so much time off. And I think that's really benefited him. But, unfortunately, he's not going to get in a final game here. Hopefully, obviously, they'll put him back down with the fans. Obviously, I think they will do that since their season ends tonight. And he'll get a couple more games to round out the season, end his season on a hot note down there with the fans. But I think he really should have been put in the final game, but it's not here nor there. They're going to go with Brian Elliott. Cates is still most likely going to be out. It seems like in this game, more and might come back out, and Justin Braun might be with Cameron York. And we'll have to see what happens there. But you obviously understand, yes, getting the best pick, yada, yada, yada. But I think since Hextall, not before as much, 
uh, other than select picks in the Holmgren era that you really hit on, but not as much throughout. You've drafted good in later rounds. We see it with Lazinski, Linus, Hogberg, others. Uh, then we see it with just usable, um, solid guys in the NHL that are just good to have on your team, especially just as depth people would uh, hag you find in the late rounds or maybe as a sixth defenseman if you actually had a good organized defense, which the Flyers didn't this year. So <clears throat> I think this team, obviously there's things they have to do in the offseason. But what I'm looking for in this game is just finish on a high note, try to go out with a win, try to go out with taking, you already took three out of four points from the Capitals, try to go out with taking five points to round out the season. So I think that would be a pretty nice thing to try to go out with five points in three games uh, to round out the season. That would be a nice high note to go out on, keep Wade Allison doing good, have Moose continue to do well, whether he's back here next year or not. Uh, he'll either get showcased well tonight, continuing to be showcased for someone else to sign him, or the Flyers will continue to keep him. We'll see what they do with their backup goaltending. I do believe Jackson Cates wasn't treated as well as he should have been rounding out this season. I do think he should have played a little bit more. He's been benched in some games I would have uh, benched some other guys that have struggled this season we, we've talked about I've talked about this in the past but the coaching staff thought about benching guys to kind of get their head on straight again well Hayes has been very struggle bunny this year and has been in all season but that's just me I would have let Cates play maybe he will tonight but it seems like just from looking at this he's expected to be scratched but we'll have to see this has been a Philadelphia Flyers the last of the year weekend recap with also a pr quick preview to tonight's game i hope you all enjoyed this please like comment and subscribe here at sports fanatic news and also please like comment and subscribe to flyers nitty gritty check out jamie Pascal, yari Vorlock, frankie lance myself sam and all the great other people over there as well as steelflyers.com peace out everybody stay safe enjoy the hockey the playoffs are almost here even though we're not in it i know everybody enjoys watching around the league when it comes to the nhl postseason and probably betting to make money so be smart but if you can make money do it peace out everybody stay safe